So, uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Jaroslav Prokop. I came here to, uh, to tell you something about my internship uh, and uh, tell, tell you something about the path uh, I went through. Um, uh, so, I'm a high school student uh, and uh, I have been, I've been on the internship for about a year now. Uh, so, I think I have something to talk about. So, um, the internship. Um, well, uh, there are, or I found out there are more types of internship. For, uh, for Red Hat has high school internship and then uh, college internship. High, college internship is for college students. They can also get paid and high school internship uh, they, uh, they are more of a learning experience for the high school students. Uh, so, uh, about picking the internship. Uh, when picking the internship, one should consider a few things. Uh, for, uh, first of all, I'd like to say why should anyone even consider picking an internship? Why should a student consider it? Why should a developer? who will have an intern consider it. Um, for a student, it is a great, great experience, in my opinion, or a great way to uh, learn something uh, from the pros uh, and to get some f uh, knowledge from the professional field. Uh, and for the developer, it is uh, an option on how to pass the experience, which is hard to get generally in school, uh, sort of uh, make your own little kid program programmer and teach him your ways. So, um, next question, what you should ask yourself before even applying is, uh, what do I want to do? Uh, or, uh, what do I want to do considering my experience? Uh, in my case, I didn't have any. Uh, so, uh, when I got sent uh, the list of the internships, I just didn't, uh, I didn't understand 90% of it. L like, I, I remember there was some uh, stuff like C kernel something, something. I didn't have, I, I understand maybe the language which it was in, but didn't understand much more. So, I went with uh, a pretty topic that seemed easy, which was uh, two words, Ruby packaging. I was like, Hey, Ruby, I heard about it a bit. Packaging, I know the Linux distributions have some package. Packages, okay, seems simple enough. So, um, okay, let's say that uh, you, you, you picked it, you picked the, what you want to do. And now you prefer, maybe want, uh, want to do the interview as a developer. So the student comes to the interview and uh, the interview is stressing, uh, even if you are 20 years old, 30 years old, uh, you can expect uh, the one you are interviewing to be stressed. So uh, for me, this was first interview with large, serious com company, even though it, it was the high school internship position, but uh, still. Uh, so this is something to, for, the, uh, for the developer to take in, uh, into account that the student will just be nervous. Uh, that will just happen. So, um, uh, next, the actual internship. Uh, here, uh, firstly, I would like to go through some, uh, I guess we could call it bad stuff or fears. Um, first thing is, what about the mentor or the guy that will have you? Will he, will he be good? Will he consider you not knowing a thing? Uh, will he be prepared? Is uh, he a people person? Um, it, it, this thing is, in my opinion, important because uh, essentially, uh, if you are a high school student, then this was the first, uh, it is the first, uh, most of the time, experience in the Linux or even open source world, which also shaped my opinion uh, on the whole thing. So, uh, also, how will he operate, operate with some stuff, uh, uh, which I will mention a bit later. 
uh, uh, ne, okay, the learning process. Uh, just, uh, okay, the, the, first of all, there will be uh, tons of new stuff. It will get really overwhelming at first. Uh, for me, I didn't understand anything for about a month. Month. Um, so uh, it was hard to kind of gain some solid ground under my feet because I didn't even un mostly understand what commands should should I be using, what libraries. Okay, I should go here, but is this the uh, the right uh, uh, way to go about it? But uh, th this will go away with time. And uh, it isn't something to be afraid of, sin, uh, since also when, mostly when you also ask the mentor, uh, he, they are mostly nice and will explain it. Maybe for the fifth time, I hope they will still have the nerves. But uh, so uh, more for the developer or even the students. The students should ask the terminology as it comes, which I didn't do, and uh, that's why it got so overwhelming. Uh, because it, there will be a ton of stuff, uh, Linux, uh, Fedora, Fed package, this git, git, uh, ju just two, uh, two tons of stuff, and uh, it is hard to explain it in one session. So, which is uh, why it is important for the developer or ask the developer to have something ready uh, for the student, some guides, books, articles that are on the internet, preferably free, and maybe even open source. Uh, this could take explain a lot of stuff in which cannot be explained uh, in the short time that is given on the uh, ses sessions, which for me is once a week about one to two hours which really is not uh, enough time to explain everything. Uh, also, it, uh, it uh, is good if uh, the intern is given options in what, should, uh, what could be done. Uh, I was given the option later on when we went a bit out of the scope of the initial internship, uh, so which I will be talking about now. So. Uh, uh, it was it went uh, a bit like this. Uh, we finished we finished the main main package, which which was uh, some documentation tool. Uh, the, the the developer went uh, okay. You want to continue? Yeah, I want to continue. But on what? Well, the colleague has this idea, and uh, uh, this was another half of the year uh, for of the internship. We, uh, which is, I think, uh, uh, po positive that I was given the option to continue. Uh, okay, I think I covered uh, the bad stuff enough. So now, <laughs> now I'd like to introduce some uh, good moments or bright uh, whiles. I'd, uh, I'd say. So uh, it got names of, of the outcomes, but uh, uh, ice cream. <laughs> uh, you may be saying, what the hell is ice cream doing there? Well, um, when it's summer in Red Hat, they sometimes hey, have ice cream. Uh, and uh, when you get asked to, to have free ice cream, hell, why the, why the hell not? <laughs> but uh, uh, you get to contribute to the open source uh, yourself, work on your own library, or even learn from the pros how it is done, and it can it can really make it all easier. Uh, you know, just uh, having the professional person explaining stuff to you, not having to search it on on your own, which you might even get to some uh, unreliable stuff, something that will give you bad basics. Um, so this this is about what I think. Um, uh, is uh, good about it. So, uh, about to summarize, um, the intern is going to be stressed from the start. I, wa I was and a lot, which is why I'm mentioning it uh, so much. 
and there really wasn't much to be afraid of in the end. Um, one thing that is important is to somehow take into account that uh, you are a high school intern, that as a high school intern I didn't know everything, or maybe interns uh, all around just uh, don't have the 10 years of experience. Um, so it, it, it is uh, important to not expect that much from them. And uh, it also is uh, good to have uh, articles, books prepared. And uh, the main goal of the internship, in my opinion, is for the intern to learn uh, some stuff in general, open source, even if it doesn't have to be much. So, yeah. And um, that is about uh, everything I have prepared for this uh, presentation. Uh, thank you for your attention, and you can find me on Twitter, GitLab, and GitHub uh, under this tag. Any questions you might have? Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, document, uh, I was told that the documentation team ne needed some, docu some tool for them to write the documentation, which was uh, ASCII binder, uh, and it is written in Ruby, and uh, it was needed to be packaged into Fedora, which was, which... Uh, fr from the start, yes, later on we moved to uh, script, it, it, which is now, which now uh, the outcome of the script can be seen on the Fedora developer portal. There is a lot of stuff to do still. Any other questions? Yes? So, uh, did your mentor uh, did a regular check like during the week when we, when we were assigned a task? Okay, so uh, just to repeat for the recording, uh, the question was if the my mentor did some regular checkups or if uh, he would do, it would help. So uh, my mentor didn't do any regular checkups uh, since uh, it is sometimes hard to for me to organize the time schedule, school is hard and all of that. Uh, but um, I don't. It could help to some if they reach out. Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing with the uh, with uh, the how are you doing with the package? Do you need some help? Like I don't know, once a mo once a month. Uh, it may be could have a help. It is not that bad of an idea. In my opinion. Okay. So any, anyone else? Yeah, one more. Okay. One more. Uh, yeah. I was going to ask the, about the balance. You know, you have a, you are a high school student. Um, how did it work? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not that uh, best. I'm I'm not I'm not the best of a, of a student on high school. I'm a good technical student. You know, I I like to learn, uh, program this stuff. So, uh, just some just sometimes. I mean, I. I just, uh, some days, or maybe weeks, last week, uh, or this week too, the grades were closing up and we, and there was, there were like six, text, six tests a week. So I, I just said, hey, I can do not much in this time span, I can try to. Okay. Yes? Uh, IT teacher in my school. Um, <laughs> well, um, <laughs> uh, English. I think it is called uh, grammar. Uh, well, the question was, uh, what about the IT on my school? Well, uh, the thing is that uh, I am attending uh, general high school, general knowledge, chemistry, physics, almost everything. But the in IT's first, second grade was just, okay, this is presentation, this is how you do presentation, this is how you work with Word. Uh, not much in, the, in this grade we got to pick uh, 
uh, some uh, more technical uh, stuff like Java programming, but uh, I wouldn't much compare it to the Red, Red Hat because uh, the level for me is just so different. Maybe even because the focus is different. Uh, meanwhile, uh, at the Red Hat, we started with Git, we started with Ruby, okay, this is the language. Uh, uh, the school, we are just going slowly with the language there, and um, it is not that hard uh, of a subject. Uh, Git was in introduced actually by someone from uh, Red Hat, even the teacher t took notes, so. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, uh, it's not a technical school, so the IT won't, won't have that much of a quality. Uh, just uh, want to probably clarify, so at your school, it's like uh, just they focus, for example, on Java, but they don't focus on the whole ecosystem and the broad issue, like how to actually work with the code, how to uh, organize project or gain some additional knowledge you, you don't have and so on. That's Uh, okay, so this was, I think, about the how the subject was is limited. Um, yeah, as you said, the subject has some limita has limitations. Uh, they don't introduce the stuff I got introduced to. For example, pro uh, the paradigms. I got introduced to functional object object oriented. We we got somehow into the object oriented, but. Uh, uh, it was just general because Java is subject oriented and, and so it uh, would be weird to not mention. Uh, and uh, a lot of stuff I think is missing to a lot of uh, students because not even, not even how to structureize the code uh, is uh, going to make some trouble. It, um, I don't, f he just comes to someone and okay, you maybe want to put that into a, a standalone method. Uh, it may be better. Meanwhile, uh, at uh, the, my internship, it was like it is better if you put it there because of uh, if, because if you may come ten, uh, I don't know ten years earlier or for the overall or overall readability of the program. So uh, at the right head for me, it was it is really much more of a quality. Okay, anyone else? Uh, yes, <laughs> of course. Uh, do I plan to study IT? Uh, yes, 100%. Uh, I plan to continue in this uh, area. Great. Was it fun? The, was the internship fun? For me, uh, yes. Uh, I was myself motivated for the overall subject of programming and all that. Let me ask that. Okay. There's fun. Okay, uh, so was it fun or did it keep me busy? Well, it, uh, it was fun for me. It was fun for me to learn new stuff even though I came to something I couldn't go on in one day. I was still motivated the second day to have some, ti have some time with the problem and to learn more, more about it. So for me, yes, it was uh, fun. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah, about the learning, uh, when you started working on some task, uh, the mentor gave, gave, you, gave you the some documentation, uh, which I don't think maybe it's not the best approach. Maybe maybe the mentor sit with you and just show you the things, or if you explain what to focus on, because sometimes the code documentation is quite large. You know, reading it all. It, so, what do you think would be, or how to improve this, or was there, did you have the same feeling as I would have? Do I really need to read all of this? Oh, um, about, uh, this question was about the learning process, and if the, uh, handing me over the whole code documentation was uh, uh, problematic. Well, I maybe didn't explain this quite, uh, that well if uh, the question got uh, there. 
since uh, we, ha we, had, we have a session once a week uh, for an hour or two. We go, we sit, uh, and uh, okay, this is what you should be working on now. Let's let uh, the mentor took a look, oh, he skimmed over the package, and okay, the, this, is the, this is this, this is this, okay, it might not cause that much trouble. I more got the documentation as the reference point to have something to search in if I get lost, and if I get ultimately lost, I can still ask the mentor later. Okay. Okay, is this all? Seems like it, so thank you all for coming, and uh, have a great the rest of the day or day.